favorite um, powders to use for my clients as well as myself. So I decided to give you guys the four powders that I use religiously on myself and clients. So let's get started. They're in like no particular order, but I'm going to show you all the ones that I tend to use whenever I'm doing foundation. Ugh whenever I am doing my clients as well as myself. So, number one is going to be um, the Laura Mercier um, Translucent Powder. Um, given that they do have a deep powder that's out now, I have not tried it yet, but I have seen um, a lot of people say that they absolutely positively love it. Um, I just never had really any problem with the um, Laura Mercier. I'll use it religiously. Um, it is super finely milled, but there are even more um, or different powders that are even more milled down uh, finely than this one, in my opinion. That's just my opinion, but I do absolutely love this one. Um, but if you are of probably about the NW55, NW55 and higher, you might not like this powder because I'm not going to say it leaves a cast, but it does leave a slight tint to your um, under eye highlight if that's what you're using to um, set your um, highlight. I wouldn't recommend this to set your full face. If, unless, unless, unless you're about my shade or um, lighter, just in, that's just in my opinion. But um, whenever I do set, like maybe my whole face with this, I always tend to go behind it with my bronzers and contours and stuff like that. Anyway, so this isn't like too bad off or anything like that. Um, the next one that I like to use, and this is really like these first three i'm showing you are the ones that i tend to use for um highlighting purposes but there is one that i use all over my face and i'll leave that one for last but this next one is the black opal um and this one is in neutral light they do also have like a medium and a deep and i think there's a dark one as well but i only use the neutral light because i absolutely love it for all over the face as well as just the highlight um there isn't like a like a flashback i'm not gonna say it's not completely flashback proof or uh resistant or anything like that but um it does kind of look cakey if i do it all over so i dust it i don't like pat it in like i normally use all my stuff like you know do it like a heavy duty coat so i use this like sparingly very sparingly whenever i use the black opal neutral light but um the medium is perfect for all over which is like a light color um like i'm not gonna say light coat it's like a sheer color or sheer wash of color it's not translucent but it's a sheer tinted powder if you get what i'm trying to say uh, but i do like this one as a translucent like powder the next one in i literally like have you can if you can tell like it's just this little pinch see like that's all i have left in that one this is how you know like i really 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 like this powder see it's literally like hardly nothing in there this is just that corner um this is the cogendo um face powder and i believe it's it i believe it's just like this one color this is absolutely positively like something that i used to use religiously and i have like this little bit left and i just started back using it um and i probably stopped using it because i only have like so much left in there it really like i have it on today it just brightens my under eye it it definitely feels like there's nothing there this one like i was trying to tell you earlier that there's something even more finely milled than the Laura mercier i believe that's going to be the cogendo powder this stuff is so 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 amazing if i'm not mistaken it was um patrick ta um he's the guy that does chrissy chrissy teigen's makeup and 
Um, he's done grab Gabrielle Union and some other people's makeup. He said he, he uses this Cogeno powder and that's why I started using um, this powder a long, long, long time ago. Like, like a year ago or so when I first started using this and I was using this every single day. And it did work perfectly with um, the Benna Banana Powder. I mixed them two together to give myself a like extra mm underneath my eyes but I just went back to just using this by itself because it's so so amazing um I only use this to set my under my under eye there is no flashback with this powder whatsoever and I tend to use a lot of this so I do say that this is um black girl friendly and my last and final powder is going to be like my absolutely I want I don't know who who out who would out choose for its holy grail. I feel like I want to choose this one, but this one is so pricey versus this one. So I'm gonna say that this one, like if I only had a little bit of change left, I would use this one. I would buy this one. So this is the RCMA. You guys know I can't record a video without getting a phone call. So um, like I was saying, the RCMA No Color Translucent Powder, this stuff is life. This is everything that you need in life for a translucent powder. So if you are looking for a powder to set your under eye highlight, to set your face, to bake with, this is your powder. This powder, close that up, make sure I ain't losing nothing now. Um, if you need this to set your face, any, anything to go with setting your face, setting your eyelids, um, setting some uh, satin lips or something like that, this is your powder. This is absolutely amazing. There is absolutely, like it says, no color to this powder. And there is no flashback. No matter how much I pile this onto my face, I get no flashback from this. And it, it can get cakey. So beware of that, but like if you, you know, spray your face with some setting spray and stuff like that, that'll take away like the powdery look. But this powder right here is the top of the top for as um, black girl friendly. Now I do want to add that um, the reason why I started using this was because of color du jour. Color Du Jour does have a translucent powder that she uses on each and every last one of her clients. Um, I will say that I believe it is a few dollars more than this, but if you do want to support your black girls and get that powder, then I would definitely say go for that because she is her own brand and she has her own no color powder which she will tell you and I've seen in like some of her video tutorials that she said that she started out no color and she wanted something of her own so she created her own um, translucent powder which she uses on all of her clients and she uses it all over their face. I've seen her videos, I've seen her using her own stuff. So if you want to support a black owned brand, support Color Du Jour and I'll link a, um, put a link down below so you guys can check out that powder. Um, as well as the RCMA powder um, but you guys thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions about any of these powders um, please feel free to ask them down in the comment section down below but in the description bar um, down below I will also have listed each and every last one of these powders where I bought them where you can possibly get them for cheap and um, I don't know whatever else I can think of but thank you guys so much for watching if you like this kind of video then make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below hit that subscribe button as well I think it's on this side I think it's on this side um hit that subscribe button for me hit it for me hit it <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching bye